What's up guys? It's Darren with the DNA Apps. Today we're going to be going over a couple of advanced techniques on how to use a photocaddy app. Specifically, we're going to be talking about masking multiple shapes to create different effects on your photos. Sounds complex, but I'm going to show you how easy it is. Check this out. You're going to open up Photocaddy. Then go ahead and import an image. Go ahead and crop. And so I'm going to show you guys how to mask out a shape with another shape. So obviously we're going to start with shapes. I'm going to open up the shape packs and go to Starburst because I already know this particular shape that I want to add to this image. We're going to increase the size so the Starburst encompasses the entire photo. Now that looks great except for the fact that I can't see what's on my photo. So I'm going to add another shape to mask out this one. So we're going to go ahead and press the plus sign and I'm going to go back over to the basic shapes pack and pick out a rectangle to mask out that Starburst. So you're going to move the rectangle around to mask out just the bottom half. Now there's this 50% white on top of it, so we're going to take down the opacity of the color down to zero. Of course you can add a different color or add a filter if you'd like, but just for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to leave it like that. Now I don't like the color of the starburst, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. All you have to do to do that is just tap it. Tap and you'll see it flash and it brings the starburst starburst to the top layer. So now I can adjust the starburst. So I'm going to mess with some colors here, but this is a little too wide. So I'm going to take the color opacity down to zero and just add Laura, bring that up to 100%. So now the starburst is back on the top layer. But where'd that rectangle masking it out go? It went back down to the bottom. So if I want to mask it out again, I don't need to add another rectangle. I'll just tap on that layer to bring it back to the top. Cool, huh? You can get really creative using the Photo Candy app. Make sure don't be afraid to get outside the tutorials box and really start creating on your own. And when you do, follow us on Instagram and make sure you hashtag your photos Photo Candy. That way we can see what you guys come up with too. We'd love to feature your photos on our feed and potentially even do a tutorial on your creation. And if you haven't already, make sure you go down to the Apple App Store and download our app today free. Peace everybody.